it's much nicer. Look at the way the light's coming through now. So good morning. I'm out and about and I'm not alone. I'm actually out on a workshop today, so I won't be doing a lot of talking. I won't be concentrating on the video and the camera quality. Um, I will manage to get a few pictures, but I'm out with Mr. Olaf here. He's all the way from Germany. Say hello, sir. Hey. <laughs> all the way from Germany. So uh, we have got some really nice light going on at the moment. And it wasn't expected because this morning at three o'clock in the van, it was bouncing around. The rain was banging on the roof <clears throat> and the van was shaking around. It wasn't expecting anything like this. But at the moment, this is really, really pretty. And I'm back at the Lone Tree, as you can see. It's never alone. Look at all these people here. We've got all sorts of people. We wasn't the first. Um, the kind gentleman that was here let us get our tripods quite close. He's still here. He's getting close to mine now. It seems to be the cameras are doing that mating ritual thing that they do, you know, where they interlock their legs and they get really close and comfy. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. It's a nice calm morning. The rain's disappeared. The, cl the clouds are coming out. The sky's sort of lighting up. We're getting colours. We're getting light rays in the distance. So it's really quite nice. So I thought I'd just check in, make a little bit of a video today, just a few places we're going to, um, and just say hello, really, to keep you up to date to what I'm on and what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, it's really nice being out. And it's really nice seeing the tree again. And every time we come and see this tree, it looks different. And I always say, shoot the, you know, shoot the familiar places because the weather changes all the time and this is a prime example this morning it was horrid um, but it's turned out quite nice and again i'm going to have a different image from the same place so it, they all count right i'm going to concentrate on what we're doing here and i'll speak to you if something magic happens <laughs> the big guns we're getting some really nice light down over the castle and you can actually see through the window of the castle which is quite nice as well so pulled out the big lens just to get a, an opportunity of grabbing a few shots of the sort of a longer version don't normally get to see it like that as well with the light behind it it's quite pretty and the fact you can see through the window of the castle as well is quite nice and everyone's still here we've still got a full still got a full house going on look at everybody here all grabbing shots and taking photographs it's actually been quite a nice morning actually. A good start to the day after a, a not a very promising start. Not sure if you can hear me or not because the wind's getting up and it's proper windy. We are now on our way up to Hlinidwo. Uh, we're in the Ogwin Valley. Uh, we've got Big Trafan over here on this side and we've got Penny Owen on this side and we're just making our way up the valley now just looking for compositions and ideas to take photographs. Um, we had a couple of snaps on the way up so I think I'll get my camera out and take a few as well but I just like to watch and see what's going on and make sure I can help where I can if I can and um, just looking for the places that make interesting photographs but it's dead windy, proper proper windy today. So I managed to grab, my, grab myself a tripod shot and get my camera out. Uh, we've got a really, really nice uh, leading line going up to the Edwall Valley. So I've got the camera out. I'm going to put a polarizer on the front because the polarizer is going to take away all that glare. And I'm just stealing a few moments because uh, Oli Olaf is, is, is setting up a composition of what he likes to see. And uh, while he's doing that, it gives me the opportunity to get a couple of photographs myself. And it's looking very, very moody, very, very atmospheric, and that's what I like. So I've got F11, I've got the polarizer on the front, eliminating all the glare in the water, so they're making the water really, really dark and moody. And uh, that's what we're going for for this. i have bracket in again, which is making all the difference. I think what I might do is just check the water for movement. 
I've got plenty, in fact I've got plenty of movement, the movement is perfect the way it is. It's shooting at about 0 0.5, 0 0.6 of a second and uh, I think that's just enough. I'm also going to try one a little bit more zoomed in, which is getting rid of the main, the main bank of water. Um, so I'm going to zoom in to about 18 mil. Uh, what that's given me is less focus on the dramatic water and more on the actual movement of water and uh, the, the, you know, going up into the mountains and behind. Um, very, very nice. Focus about a third of the way into the image. But like I say, the, the first exposure, even though I'm bracketing, I've probably only used the one and it's given me enough movement in the water to just give that texture and it looks really, really nice. And like I say, it's, with the polarizer on, it makes so much difference. I'll give you that deep, dark, rich, black, slaty coloured water. And now I better go and check to see what's going on. Oh, that wind's got up. It just seems to be every time we get the camera out, the weather's changing to the worst. It doesn't make any sense. So it's very difficult to uh, talk in these conditions, but I've got a really, really nice photograph set up. And uh, we've come off the track slightly from uh, what we normally do walking up this direction. So we're looking at the cascades and the waterfalls as we go up the hill. And uh, I've got a really, sh the shot I've got is a beautiful one. And when you see it, you'll see the reason why, because I've got the lovely mountains in the background with that nice muted green from the horrible rainy wet conditions we've got and I've got the water flowing from the bottom right hand corner and it leads you all the way around the image and up to the distance in the background I'm just playing with a polarizer as well so the polarizer is giving me a little bit of a little bit of taking the sheen off of the rocks in different places so I'm just wiggling that around just to get it in the best of different places and I can sort of blend in parts of the image then to actually work and we're even getting a touch of light now on the on the mountains in the background which is just absolutely mind-blowingly insane this is a really nice atmospheric shot really really nice enjoy this one and let me know what you think So I've just turned around, just been taking an image of a very classic, very nice, simple shot looking up at Penny Owen. It really is quite a nice shot for being a simple one uh, with the rocks on, with the light in them and the mountain with all the sunlight over them. I'm now stood with, with the wife who's been left on her own again, guarding the, guarding the, the, the spot. Uh, Claudia, her name as well. Um, he's run off. This is supposed to be a workshop. I'm supposed to be with him and he's run off. How am I supposed to keep up with people when they run off and run away? Um, but your nearest waterfall is about 200 kilometers, is it? Yeah, so the nearest waterfall at home is about 200 kilometers. So he's like a kid in a sweet shop. He's just sweet after sweet after sweet. He's taking lots and lots of shots. And Olaf seems to like the close in shots as well, doesn't he? He likes the, the intimate close in waterfalls, uh, which I don't do a lot of. I normally go for the big escapes. So uh, yeah, I need to get me walking boots on and try and keep up with him because he's. He's gone. So, beggars, well, I don't know, is it beggars, I don't know, but we're out. It's 
still at Clean Edwell, as you can see behind me, it is torrential. It is seriously raining. These guys are loving it. You know, absolutely beautiful. I brought them to the beach. You know, we're at Clean Edwell Beach. Um, we're actually getting lightning and claps of thunder, which is probably not good to be in the mountains, but wow, this is exciting stuff. I've been down and a bit over the last few weeks and a few months, but this enthrills me. This gets me going. I love these weather conditions. I just can't take any photographs in it, to be honest. But yeah, this is, can you hear that? That's thunder rumbling. So if it starts turning into fork lightning, we're going to hide behind a big boulder and uh, we're going to try and get some pictures of the lightning. Maybe. So what do you think of the English weather, sir? Oh, it's good. <laughs> when I come home, the most people ask me, uh, the most people have the wrong clothes. The wrong clothes yeah, yeah the wrong it's clothes. not the wrong weather it's the wrong clothes yeah. isn't it yeah definitely yeah so there lesson learned all the way from germany it's not the wrong weather it's the wrong clothes <laughs> now i've got to put this camera away because it's not waterproof i'll speak to you later <laughs> interrupt this video to just show you a small product that I've been sent from through night sent me uh, another torch the Archer Pro uh, basically I was sent an Archer some time ago this isn't the Pro this is the Archer very very mini tiny little torch very handy to keep on you for doing your night escapes and reading your um, camera in in the dark you know and stuff like that. they sent me out another one if you can see there we just hold on to this clip on the back you can see it's slightly bigger um, it's still tiny, it's still quite small, still quite compact. It's IPX8, so it means it's fully waterproof. It's got a maximum lumens of um, 1022. So this thing, for its size, is very, very bright. You wouldn't want to be shining this in your face. Nice clip on the back. Uh, it's a double way clip, so you can have it clipped down or clip up, clip it on your belt, clip it on your camera bag. Start with press and hold, gives you this fire flight, gives you this very, very dim little light great for reading your maps great for reading your camera give it one single press and it comes on with the you know whatever the last setting was so at the moment i've got this set on low and then you basically press and hold it and the brightness will go up and you can see it goes up and up and up until it flashes which is its maximum brightness once it flashes that's on maximum brightness and it's giving out a real powerful amount of light when it goes down okay so you just basically press and hold it until it goes up and down and uh, you give it you know get the brightness you want it, double press two presses on the bottom one two and you get the turbo mode turbo mode is your thousand lumens it is very very bright you can see behind me it is really bright it's giving off some heat and it's a very 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 bright little torch for what it is so yeah three presses on the bottom that's one two three so here we go one two three and you get the flashing strobe that is really dazzling. It's very, very bright. Wanted to do, gonna chuck you back over to the video now. And uh, yeah, bye. So I'm back in the van at the moment. We're just uh, traveling down to uh, Mole Shabods, the cafe. Uh, if you're ever in North Wales or if you're ever out with me in North Wales and we need something to eat, this is the go-to cafeteria and they make scones to die for. Or is it a scone? Is it a scone or is it a scone? It's a scone when you get it and it's a scone when it's finished. Um, yeah, we're just heading down there. I'm hoping they've still got some on the menu because um, it's gone two o'clock. Having a good day, uh, as much as the weather's been bad, I may have had some bad audio because I just realised I probably didn't have my mic on when I was up clearing it wall. Um, but yeah, it's been pretty good so far. So um, yeah, I'll check in a little bit later on. We've got a plan to go to another location for this evening, but gosh, only know what the weather's gonna do. I do not know, but I'm thoroughly enjoying this weather. I really did need this 
wind and rain and battering that I'm getting. I really, really have needed this and uh, I'm enjoying it. video here I'm afraid um, we've just been and had some late lunch uh, one of uh, them scones I said about and the the rain is absolutely horrendous we're getting thunder um, big claps of thunder and you cannot see anything so I'm going to end this strangely weird video from me now um, I'm just making my way to Dinawi Quarry. Um, I haven't been for a long time and I suggested to Olaf and Claudia um, would they like to join me in the morning? Uh, we can't really finish the workshop today and I'm here anyway. I'm going to be going for a walk tomorrow anyway. So I've you know often come with me tomorrow and we'll finish the day off tomorrow because you can't do anything about the English weather so if you are considering coming out with me and you know we get bad weather and it's happened to me several times um, I will try and do my best to you know to make it up to you um, wherever we can so yeah strange video thank you if you've watched uh, please like and subscribe give us that thumbs up um, can't do much more than that apart from jump for now see you soon and if you are considering coming out for a workshop, it doesn't have to be a one-to-one, -one, but I will tailor, you know, tailor make something for you. Um, if you'd like to just come out for a, a walk or join me for sunrise or sunset, you know, I'm up to all sorts of things, all sorts of a range of prices, if you like. And, you know, my time is yours for the day. I don't work by the hour. So, um, yeah, give us a shout. Drop the line, Paul Compton, PD Photography, forward slash contact or just go onto the website and contact me through there and I need to concentrate on this road because it's extremely wet and I'll see you all next time bye bye